New at 5 o'clock, if you've been in Texas for more than five minutes, you know that pollen plagues the state and our allergies year-round. Yeah, Houston's Health Department keeps track of how much is in the air on any given day, but how exactly do they do it? KPRC2 meteorologist Dasia Swa joins us from the Texas Medical Center where she got a microscopic look at the pollen and mold. Daji. Good evening. As we know, it's hard to see pollen sometimes from the human eye, but we sure can feel it. Today, I had the opportunity to head to the city of Houston's uh, health department lab, where they not only count the pollen, but were able to look at it under a microscope. So allergy season is the entire year. Making it important for scientists to monitor what is floating in the air. We have to be at least two stories up in the air. Christina Oots is a microbiologist with the Houston Health Department. She says this rooftop is the perfect place to collect spores because there are no obstructions for the wind to get into their spore trap. This is a Burkard machine. It's used to suck in the air so that we can get air samples. Oots places and collects a film from this spore trap every 24 hours. Then she heads to the lab. This is a gelatin stain, so it stains it pink and it also is like a glue. It holds it together. Staining the air sample will dye any plant material like tree or weed pollen, helping her see them easier when looking through the microscope. Everything tends to be pretty clear when I'm looking at it, and so if the pollen looks different from the mold, it's easier for me, me to identify which one I'm looking at. This is a job that computers can't do effectively. It requires a human element that can't be replaced. When a computer tries to count this stuff, they're just going to count the pollens that look perfect. And so if there's other stuff in the air, um, say there's smoke in the air, I can see that. And so it might partly obscure a pollen. But the human element that matters the most is the help it provides. My allergist uses this exact count, and so it's nice to know that I'm, I'm helping people. Helping people is so important. As you know, still take those allergy pills if you are a sufferer. Uh, when I spoke with the microbiologist, she said that we're right on track for allergens, so we're average. But weather can change that up as at any time, as we know. In the Texas Medical Center, Dodgy Aswad, KPRC 2 News. All right, Dodgy.